justice for all. Thank you very much. Great job. The purpose of the special meeting is to give residents of Manchester the opportunity to address the board on items of concern affecting the community. And that each person will be given only one opportunity to speak. And that all comments shall be limited to three minutes to allow all participants the opportunity to speak. And any comments must be directed to the chair. Any resident wishing to speak, come forward to the nearest microphone, clearly state your name and address, and recognize it, and give your comments. Thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. So, on, name and address, please. Uh, Darling in Manchester. On Saturday, June 4th, you want to address? I don't feel safe um, revealing that after the union leader published uh, my friend's personal addresses. I just don't feel safe to say. I am in Manchester. On Saturday, June 4th, I went to a publicized event at Manchester PD organized in response to a strange food incident, which is widely covered by the union leader. I was documenting the event from Penn Media from across the street at the opposite end of the block from where the arrest took place. And while walking away from the scene, police ran after me and ordered me to stop in the middle of the intersection. One of them then grabbed the phone out of my hand, declared it to be evidence, and said, if you show me your ID, I will give you the phone back. He was clearly told that the phone was broadcasting live to the internet and that there was no evidence on the phone. For those that are not familiar with smartphone technology, there are services like Quick.com and NetUser.com that broadcast content directly to the internet without storing any information on the device. How can the phone be evidence if the video was streamed live and there was nothing on the phone's hard drive? If it was such important evidence, why did he offer to return the phone immediately without viewing the so-called evidence if only I'd show him ID? Apparently the evidence was not very important or he wouldn't have offered to return it on the spot. Furthermore, the Manch TV had its own pictures and videos of what transpired. So even if there was video on my phone, they would not need it to obtain a conviction. To follow up on the story, I went to the arraignments of two people with the most serious of the charges stemming from that day. The prosecutor stated that the alleged damage to public property was valued at under $100. In contrast, residents had nine cameras and phones confiscated that were valued at hundreds of dollars each. These devices are not solely used for chit-chat and home videos. I use my phone for business, GPS, and internet. And now, I have to keep paying for a monthly service, which I cannot use. So like many of us, I'm on a contract. I'm concerned about the growing distrust between the public and the police force, which is supposed to behave in accordance with high moral standards, which they did not. How can you and I, as Manchester residents, feel safe walking down the street when your phone can be taken as evidence at any time? Furthermore, since when do we need photo IDs to walk down the street? I've done nothing wrong, and I want to talk about it. <coughs> 